All right, guys, got these back from the welder. Um, he said, don't blame him for the bad weld. The, uh, the cast aluminum was not pretty. He said there was actually gas fumes coming out of the aluminum while he was welding it. But anyways, these are my old intakes, uh, my old uh, intake elbows that went up to the carbs. These are the hard as a rock boots that were on them. You can hear them cracking when I squeeze them. They're bad. No good. They came off fairly easily. It left me with this really narrow lip and it's not even flat, but I don't really feel like grinding that because the elbow, I'm afraid I might open that and leave an actual hole here. I got 40 millimeter um, silicone couplings. I actually bought two that were 100 millimeters and I cut them in half so I got 50 each and uh, they fit on there perfectly. They're exactly 40 millimeters. So, got these hose clamps. Um, as you can see, there's you know not a whole lot to grab onto, but it's enough. They're about as wide as the hose clamps. Yeah, well, maybe those clamps are a little bit wider, but barely. So, most of the hose clamp will cl clip most of that. So, it's on here, and uh, it's on there pretty good. I'm not going to be running boost, probably. Um, so, uh, should be fine. One of the things I need to do is get a carbide bit and grind out the excess because, you know, these bungs were pretty long. I grind out the part that's sticking inside the port and blocking, you know, a quarter of it. So that'll be nice when those are ground out of the way, but that's on my to-do list right now. I'm just kind of mocking things up. So anyways, we got this. Take it over to here. Now, get that manifold out of the way a little bit. Anyways, it goes on the manifold. These, uh, actually, I should show you this here. I get two of these flat. You can see they've got a slight upward angle. Probably should have made my manifold so the tubes pointed just down at just a slight angle. I could probably find get an angle finder and figure out what that angle is. I think it'll be fine. I got plenty of excess tube here and it's rubber, so it'll be okay. Anyways, I can fit these nice and deep onto here. And uh, then they, they bolt down and I'll, you know, I'll put another clamp there cut off the excess clamp that, uh, you know, cause these were for 45, 50 millimeter. So these are 40. So yeah, fits nice and snug. I'm gonna make a good fit. And then next I'm gonna work on my fuel rail. So um, let me get the rest of these, in, you know, mocked up and we can see what we're doing with the fuel rail. All right, I picked up a drill press to do the uh, fuel rails and obviously I don't have a vise for the drill press. So I'm doing my best with a couple of C-clamps and a pair of vise grips. It looks square to me and I measured one inch back plus half of the injector's width. So it's gonna be, the hole will be an inch from the end. So that should be enough room to tap this um, fuel rail and put a fitting in there. Hopefully. Anyways, um, so I'm going to start with a small, tiny drill bit. There we go. I should thank my father for this drill press. He hooked me up when I was looking for one. And there we go. We're all the way through. I set it to its lowest speed, so it takes its time getting through there. Okay, there's the first hole. I'm going to enlarge it. Next up, I'm going for 3 8 So, oh, here we go. got a 15 16 in there. We just want to kiss this to get the burr off and give a little chamfer for the injector o-ring to go in nicely. Ugh. It's not a not a very smooth burr, but it'll do. That's all I'm going to do to it. So, you can see that's a little little bit jagged. Very jagged actually, but it'll do. Maybe a deeper tool would have been better, but I don't care. It just needs to get the injector in there smoothly. Maybe this wasn't the ideal size. Maybe I'll try something smaller on the next one. All right, so I'm measuring. These are, these are bolted to the head now. 
and on this side at least they are 125 millimeters apart roughly from inside edge to inside edge so if i add seven to that it'll put me in the center so 132 from the edge of that hole to the middle of this hole and honestly if i did another one 139 139 that would be the center of each hole so but we want 132 from the edge of that first hole we'd already drilled to the center of the new hole so i can go mark that on there now all right it's clamped back in the vise and what i did was i took this and i bottomed it out on this hole and then i dragged and made a scratch right here so i've got a scratch right there and i will try and drill right there all right uh, i already drilled this hole i just kind of since it's the same as that one anyways we're gonna chamfer it with a three-quarter this time see how that does ah, it's still chattery oh well it'll do it's a chamfer just need to you know lube up the o-ring when i get in there but the rest of the passage is nice and smooth at least it is on this one <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Cool. There we go. Two fuel injectors installed. Yeah. I still got to come up with a hold down system for this. It'll probably be a bolt up through the middle and then some kind of metal that goes under these and comes across that I can just bolt into. Something simple. And there's the uh, wiring bungs. So I can just plug the wiring into there. And, uh, yeah, that's all. I gotta trim this down, you know, an inch out from the injector hole, but that's no problem. Uh, I don't have access to a bandsaw, and I don't know where my sawzall and stuff is. And I don't, yeah, I'll, I'll do it with the bandsaw if I can get access to one. So, anyways, I can do the other side, but I'm gonna do that later. This was a proof of concept. These bungs are so tight with the injectors. The holes on the rail are are the right size they're fine um but the bums oh my goodness i almost wanted to drill them out because they're too darn tight but it'll work so anyways worked out well and i can tap this end and when i cut this i can tap that end and start running fuel lines that'll be cool anyways this week was nice and short um I had done a bunch of video previously for the wiring but it's just so long and drawn out and boring uh, I'm just not going to subject you guys to that. So we'll just stick with this short stuff as I do things.